we got some new Captain America Brave New World promo art. And not only is Sam Wilson getting a new costume, but this is definitely a brand new look for the Falcon and his version of Captain America. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about that helmet that Sam Wilson appears to be wearing and why, quite honestly, I love the helmet. It makes a ton of sense and I think it'll allow him to stand out as this particular character. Now, before we do that, though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are in the know. Well, as many of you know, Captain America Brave New World is about nine months away from finally landing in theaters, but this movie has faced multiple delays. One of the nice things for fans about delays is when things get delayed, quite often promotional art and merchandise that was scheduled to be released does drop on its original schedule, and we get a lot of tidbits and teases for the upcoming project. Now, given how particularly awesome Sam Wilson's Captain America suit was in the finale of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, there was a lot of disappointment circulating with fans that the new suit basically appeared to be an old Steve Rogers suit from The Winter Soldier, basically with Sam Wilson just simply donning some goggles. But now it appears there is a major costume change in the works. Now, based on this new promo art, it definitely appears that Sam Wilson, along with the new version of the Falcon played by Danny Ramirez, will not only be swooping through the skies of the MCU, but both will be donning a helmet. So, let's go ahead and check it out. Now, quite honestly, Sam in a helmet is a pretty big departure from what his comic book counterpart looks like, and it does look very similar to Ant-Man's helmet. Now, we do see a breathing tube, and this does suggest to me something that kind of bothered me about Sam's character for a while. Basic science class tells us as you get higher in the air, the air gets thinner, becomes harder to breathe, and given how fast the Falcon goes, you can totally see how an unhelmeted character could struggle, especially one without superpowers, dealing with some of these natural variables that a flying man would have to face. Now, I can't help but notice that the helmet is also very similar to the helmet donned by the Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming, and I think Marvel was paying attention to what was going on there, because the helmet itself was pretty practical and did make a lot of sense. Now, as far as the promo art goes, these aren't photographs of the helmet, it's just promotional art, but it does give us a great idea of how Sam Wilson is going to definitely differ from his Steve Rogers counterpart in the MCU, and for me, although I like the blue costume, I do like the fact they're going out of their way to try to differentiate him from Steve Rogers' version of Captain America. Obviously, the wings are a big deal, but adding the helmet is a pretty cool element. It does suggest to me some very exciting, high-flying aerial battles, and it might even be a practical response to some plot point in the movie that Sam is forced to deal with and make some adjustments to the traditional costume. Now, for me though, I did like the white costume. I hope it is somehow or another part of the movie. We haven't seen any signs that that is the case, but fans did like that costume quite a bit. It's Wakandan heritage was kind of interesting, and it did add a cool element, and it did add a pretty cool element to the film, and it did add a pretty cool ending to that series, so I hope it just doesn't disappear into the ether like so many Marvel costumes have in the past. But we're gonna have to wait and see. 